Hello y'all, so I'm in my bathroom. Oh, I'm actually getting ready for my gender reveal right now. My gender reveal party. Can y'all tell I'm team girl? I want to go so bad. So I'm going to wear all pink. My makeup is pink, of course. And um, this is a story time you've all been waiting for. I'm going to tell you guys the story of how I found out I was pregnant. So, no, I didn't find out with a pregnancy test. I didn't. I found out with, well, this is a pregnancy test, but this is a pregnancy test you get in the doctors. This is how I found out this little strip. I didn't throw it out, though. This was my pregnancy test. And I found out in the weirdest way. So this is what happened. I was clubbing with my friend Chanel and this was exactly on Friday the 15th. Friday, February 15th. And I found out Friday, February 21st. Um, not Friday, Wednesday, February 21st. So um, on Thursday was Valentine's Day. It was February 14th and I thought I got my period. I had just gotten a new job and I was working and I was always tired but I'm like I'm just tired because I'm in school and it's draining and I have work like that's what I was thinking like I didn't think it was anything else I thought it was me being tired from school and work and on February 14th I'm at work and I'm like shit I got my period Ooh, God hates me he does not want me to have sex today I got my period on Valentine's Day mm, it was spotted and um, I didn't even realize that my period went away the next day like it came for one day and on Friday I didn't realize that it was gone like I just had so much on my mind that I wasn't thinking straight so Friday February 15th I went clubbing with my friend Chanel and I only had two drinks that night and usually I drink a lot a lot a lot of Hennessy but I wasn't in the mood like I could drink like 10 cups of Hennessy and still be fine but I wasn't in the mood I had two cups of Hennessy and I felt so lit and I felt so drunk so drunk and I all night I was throwing up when I got home from the club like at 5 a.m. I was throwing up all night in my bathroom I wake up Saturday morning and I'm throwing up all Saturday so I'm like son who the fuck drugged my cup because this is ridiculous like how am I still throwing up I only drink two drinks like I usually never throw up like it's either a somebody drugged my cup or B I have food poisoning because I had went out to eat to get some crab legs and on Friday I went by myself to get some crab legs from some restaurant and I'm like okay th that restaurant gave me food poisoning it's either that or somebody drugs me because there's no way I'm still throwing up and it's 8 p.m. and I'm still throwing up and I'm like that's crazy well maybe tomorrow I'll feel better like I felt like shit like I was just laying down all day I was just crying like I do not feel good at all like I never cry and I was seriously crying like God help me like that's how and it would hurt when I would throw up and I wasn't throwing up anything but bile like I kept throwing up yellow 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 so I'm like what the hell is going on with me and then Sunday comes and I'm still throwing up and I'm throwing up throwing up throwing up throwing up and I'm making my body so dehydrated so at this point I'm so so weak and then Monday comes and I'm throwing up throwing up throwing up throwing up and I'm like okay somebody didn't drug my cup like I'm definitely food poisoned so I keep throwing up and I missed class on Monday then Tuesday I decided I was going to class and when I'm walking to class I have to throw up like and I didn't want to eat anything like I had no appetite at all no appetite at all so I'm walking to class and I have to throw up so I'm like you know what fuck this shit I'm going to the nurse because I've been throwing up since Saturday and I don't understand what's going on so I go to my school nurse on Tuesday and they're like oh you got food poisoning but you're making yourself dehydrated from throwing up and not eating eat like um, eat like food eat fruits and stuff like that to keep your stomach settled drink Pedialyte drink Gatorade um, so you can get yourself dehydrated again so I go to the store and I buy myself some Gatorade and um, I felt way better so then after I go to the nurse I go to my physiology teacher and I tell her um, I think I got food 
food poisons. That's what the school nurse say. Here's the paper. I can't come to class today because I don't feel well and I don't want to spread it on to anybody else or if I have the stomach virus. The school told me I had a stomach bug. I still thought I got food poisoning. But the school told me I had the stomach bug that was going around in my school. I forgot that part. So the nurse told me I had a stomach bug. So I went to my physiology teacher and I told her, oh, I have a stomach bug and it's contagious. It's spreading around. I don't want to make anybody else sick. And my physiology teacher was like, how long have you had it for? And I was like, since Saturday. And she's like, really? That's weird. Um, it's Tuesday. By now, it should have gone away. Because it only lasts a day, two days most. So you shouldn't still be throwing up. And I'm like, mm, okay. But anyways, I left. I went home. I'm still throwing up, throwing up, throwing up. And I feel sick. So then Wednesday comes, and I'm crying. Like, I'm like, God... I literally get on my knees and I pray to God and I tell God, God, if I'm dying, bro, take me now because the way I feel, I don't want to feel like this. Like, I have never felt so sick in my whole entire life. So, I literally got on my knees. I'm like, God, just take me. I don't know what's going on. Like, this is crazy. I can't even go to school. Like, I just want to feel normal again. Like, I regret drinking. Like, I don't know what happens, but God, just make me feel like myself again. And I'm literally crying on my knees. And then I call my mom crying. And my mom says, go to the emergency room. And I'm like, no. <laughs> she said, go to the emergency room. No one wants to go to the emergency room alone. So I'm like, whatever, I'm going to go. Because at this point, I feel ridiculous. Like, I can't take it anymore. So now it's Wednesday, February 21st. And I was throwing up for about five days consecutively because I was drinking on Friday so from Friday to Wednesday I was throwing up and I go to the emergency room and like I as soon as I got to the emergency room like my body is so dehydrated I was like about to faint and pass out and want to know how I was dehydrated when the doctor was trying to take my blood no blood was coming out he's like oh my god you're so dehydrated like blood's not even gonna come in blood's not even coming out right now it took him like 20 minutes to finally get some blood out of me. And that was crazy. And I was like, oh my God. So I go there and they're like, okay, you need IV immediately. Like you're super dehydrated. Like I'm surprised you haven't fainted yet. That's what they're saying. And I'm like, oh my God, I feel dehydrated. So they give me IV and I feel so much better. I'm like, okay, this is heaven on earth. The IV made me feel 10 times better. I feel energized again and I'm like, okay, it's time to go back home. Yay. And I don't have insurance. So I'm paying for this um, emergency room visit out of pocket. Like at this point, it was like $400. And because it was $200 for the IV, $200 to be seen, um, seen by the doctor. And then the doctor came in and he's like, do you mind if I test your urine for pregnancy? And I was this close to saying no. I was about to say no, because I'm not pregnant. I know I'm not pregnant. Like I just made myself dehydrated from throwing up, and now I'm 10 times better. Like I'm fine, I'm fine. So I was about to say no, and you know what? Something in the back of my head was like, yeah, do it. Because he was like, it's 20 extra dollars. And my ass was like, 20 dollars? You know what I could do with 20 dollars? I could get myself a dog. Like that's a waste of money. Because <laughs> that's how I was thinking at the time when I did smoke. But I'm like, that's a waste of money because I already know it's going to be negative. But something was like the matter. Just do it. Just do it. So I'm like, okay, you know what? Yes, that's it for pregnancy. So I'm waiting like 30 minutes now. Um, I did my V drip just finished. I feel so much better. I feel like high off of the IV. Like I'm having so much fun in there. And then he comes in and he says, you're pregnant. Like, that's just how he says it. He just says, you're pregnant. He doesn't even say congratulations. He doesn't even say nothing. He just says, you're pregnant. I'm like, no, you're joking. <laughs> right? It's a joke. That's like that. He was joking because he was so serious. And he was like, no, you're pregnant. I'm like, are you sure? Can you test it again? Like, are you sure? He's like, I'm a thousand percent positive you're pregnant. So I got so, like, scared in that moment. And I was alone in the emergency room. So that was, like, the scariest moment of my life. Like, I heard that and I just started hysterically crying. I know the doctor was like, what the fuck? And I'm just crying, 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 crying. Like, what the fuck do I do? Like, I didn't even know what to do. 
and I'm just over here crying. He's over here um, giving me a bunch of papers that say how to deal with morning sickness, first trimester papers, what food to eat, and I'm like, oh my god, like, this is a movie, like, this, <laughs> this is not happening right now, this is not happening to me, but I'm like, okay, like, that was, it wasn't even a planned pregnancy, it was an unexpected pregnancy, but I, w I knew in that very moment, I knew that my entire life was gonna change, and that's because everyone's, like, entitled to their own beliefs, but I personally do not believe in abortion, and I always told myself, if I ever get pregnant, I'm keeping it, like, there's nothing else I could do. I should have been smarter. Like, that's how I was thinking because I don't believe in abortion. Like, I don't judge you if you do, but in that moment, I knew my entire life was going to change. So I'm just like, damn. Like, I was just thinking about everything and I was like, ugh. So, anyways, um, I come out the hospital. The first person I call is my Aunt Damaris. And I call her hysterically crying, like, Damaris. <laughs> she already knew what I was going to say. She was like, you're pregnant. And I'm like, yes. She's like, what are you gonna do? You're telling your mother? I'm like, hell no. And I didn't tell my mom till like a week later. And surprisingly, like, I told my mom crying on the phone. First, I called her crying, then I hung up and I texted her. And she was like, I'll help you. I'll take care of your baby. I'll love your baby. Like, and I was like, what the hell? I thought you were about to cut all my hair off and like drag me through dirt. And then I was like, you know what? God is good. Thank God, because I have a very supportive mother and a mother who cares. And yeah, because I was so scared to tell my mom, like that was my biggest thing. And when I told her, it was like a huge weight lifted off my shoulder. Like she was there for me through everything. That same day I told her, she flew me home because that was the first day of my spring break. And she's like, come home, come to your mother. I'll take care of you. So I came home and I actually felt better that entire week. I was so nauseous, but I felt better. Like I started eating again because I wasn't eating for like two weeks and now I eat like every five seconds. Um, I'm gonna be filming my gender reveal today. I'll drop that later on this week. Or I'm gonna drop that video separately after this one. But I just wanted you guys to know how I found out I was pregnant. And I don't know the gender yet, but like I said, I'm team girl. So I hope it's a girl. And yeah, I'm gonna, um, make an advice video for mothers who are expecting to because it's not easy it's really not so we all have to stick together <laughs>